In Kotlin and in many other JVM languages and most programming languages, you're not limited to the default set of exceptions. You can actually create your own set that you would need as well. So let's assume that you didn't want to use the illegal argument exception, but you wanted to create your own. So you can create a class and we'll call it illegal age or let's call it invalid age exception. And usually you'll add the suffix exception to the end of, a, of an exception so you know what that type means. If I just typed invalid age, I don't know if this is an exception, if it's an object, or what is it for, but if I say exception at the end, it's very easy to read for what it is. Now, this is a class, I can provide anything I like, so maybe I wanna provide the age, which is an int, and then I also wanna provide the message, which is a string. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and pass, make this, I can either make this just an exception, or, you know what, since this is, has something to do with an argument, I'm gonna extend a legal argument exception, and then I need to pass in either no parameters or the message, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a message that's going to be based upon the other stuff. And I'll say invalid age, and then I'll go ahead and render the age variable, and then I'm gonna go ahead and then also append the message here. So, now, instead of using the illegal argument exception, I can say invalid age except throw new invalid age exception. And of course, it can give me an error here because I don't have the age passed in. So I'm going to say p.age, which is the person's age. And now if I run this, what we're going to see in the output is that an illegal age exception is thrown. So illegal age exception, invalid age, 13. The user is not old enough, user is too young. And so I'm passing this message in and this is, which means invalid age exception is a uh, basically a child of illegal argument exception. And so now I've created my own exception. You can create many exceptions as you would like. These can help you inside of your application when things are perhaps not working and your application is crashing. You can see exactly what type of exceptions they are. Perhaps a per particular part of your application is really difficult, so you may want to create a couple of different exceptions and you track those inside of your, your application or inside of your crash tool. Or maybe you're building a library and that library has very particular needs and so you need to make sure that you're returning certain exceptions from your application and giving exceptional um, situations. So that's how you can do it. You just have to go ahead and take class and ex extend exception, or you can just even extend just regular exception uh, and so forth. And then you can start building your own. So it depends on which one you want to extend. You need to make sure that you can extend it. So there's exception. You can also extend, you know, runtime exception as well. So if you want to make your own runtime exceptions, you can do that as well. So that's how you can create your own exceptions in Kotlin.